Hey, welcome to Well.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and I have four foot pedals up here in front of me. You're probably wondering, what am I doing with all four? Why wouldn't I just select one and use it? Well, that's exactly what this show is all about. We're going to show you the good, bad, and the ugly of foot controls. And so we start off, and I've got this foot control to the right, and, you know, it's, it's built pretty robust. I look at the sheet metal. It looks very functional. It's even got a heel stop on it. And sometimes you like that, sometimes you don't. But overall, it's built well. But as I turn it around, you're going to notice something here. And you're going to notice this knob. You know, what the heck is that? Well, this, this comes from uh, a lot of the imports. And what the imports have a tendency to do is they limit the amount of amperage that you get out of a machine through the foot control. Now, that's not the best way to do it. Nobody wants to crawl down underneath their workbench and set their foot control or keep setting it here. So it's got to be incorporated into the machine, and it has to start right from the get-go. So if you see this, it's not preferred, and usually we toss it. I don't even give it a consideration. But I want, to, I want to go through and go through the functions that we look for other than this, because it does disqualify it. So we're going to take this foot control. We don't really care how much it weighs because it is it is pretty robust but what we are going to do is we're going to take this scale we're going to set the machine or this foot control on there and we're going to zero it out okay so I've, I've got it zeroed out right now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put pressure on here now what you need to know about a foot control is it needs to be smooth if you have gear on gear or something like that and you can feel the gears, then that's not a very good foot control. So go ahead and feel your foot control. And this one has actually pretty good action to it. It's pretty smooth all the way to the bottom. When I bottom out, I have a certain pressure. Now, what is that pressure? Well, it turns out that it's about seven pounds pressure. Yeah, that, that's going to vary, but seven pounds pressure is not bad at all. So let me do it again, just to give it a benefit of the doubt. Okay, so I'm zeroed out, and I press. It's pressing very, very smooth, pretty nice. And I bottom out, and I'm at, I'm at eight pounds. So between seven and eight pounds pressure. Is that what you like? I don't know. Let's compare it. Now this foot control, I've seen this in a lot of the imports, and it's not very well built. And the first time that I looked at it, I thought it was a joke. And I actually used it, and it's not bad. Uh, I mean, it's not something I'd like to keep on my machine every day. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and zero zero this thing out. Okay, so I'm going to zero it out. Okay, zero pounds. Now I'm going to go ahead and put hand pressure. And it's still, you know, it's pretty smooth, but it takes a lot of pressure. You know, I can feel that pressure with my hand. So I'm getting ready to bottom out, and as soon as I bottom out, I'll feel, okay, I'm bottomed out. Wow. I'm at about 15 pounds pressure. Okay, so I'm going to back off. I'm going to do it all over again. I'm zeroed out. I'm going to press on this again and see what the pressure turns out to be. Okay, this time I got 20 pounds pressure. So that's pretty significant to push down on this thing. So again, it's not, not ideal. You know, it's actually pretty smooth going up and down, but the pressure at 20 pounds, that's, that's pretty high. So, you know, we're, we're working on replacements for these. So uh, just stay tuned to well.com and you're going to see what our progress is. Okay, so now let's go to this foot pedal right here. This has become very popular. This has been updated three or four times, and it's, uh, it's now uh, to, to an acceptable level. And when I say that, you know, everything is rated on 1 to 10, 10 being the best. Uh, so this right here, it's probably about a 6 rating. So not bad, uh, still pretty acceptable. A couple of things to, to look for. There's a, there's a little gap right here, and that opening is, 
is, is not ideal because you're dealing with electronics and it's on the floor and you can always get junk in there. So uh, just know that uh, that part of it's not terribly ideal. The rest of it, it's nice and rounded. It's, it's pretty symmetrical. It's, uh, it looks like it's semi well made. It's a little bit narrow, so uh, uh, here in the United States we like to have a little wider pedal, sometimes a little longer pedal, but uh, overall it's not bad. So let me, let me zero this one out. Okay, and I'm going to apply, I'm going to apply pressure. And you know, it, it, it's got a little roughness to it. You can feel the gears mesh. So even though it looks good, it's still just a little bit rough. And I'm looking at about 13 pounds pressure. Okay, I want to do it again. And, you know, you don't always feel that with your feet, but when you do this with your hand, you can feel the sensitivity of it. Okay, so I'm going to zero out. It's perfectly zeroed out, and I'm going to do this again. I can feel the gears. I can feel a mesh. It's almost like a notching. Okay, I'm bottomed out and I'm at 13.2 ounce pressure, so 13 pounds of pressure. Okay, so now let's go to this one. This one actually is uh, you know, one of my favorite. You'll see the brand on there, it's SSC Controls. They've been doing this a long time, so they know what we as professional welders want. And if you'll notice, the, the case is completely encapsulated so you're not going to get anything stuck in there and it's uh, I, I call it a wide track because it's wider than your foot so you don't necessarily uh, lose it down there under the table so I'm going to go ahead and zero out again okay we're zeroed out and I'm going to apply pressure here and as expected, it's a very smooth transition. You don't feel any gearing. You don't feel any lunging or sticking. Uh, so we got to the bottom. I'm bottomed out right now. The pressure is 5 pounds, 10 ounces. Let me do it again. Okay, zeroed out. Hand pressure. It's very smooth. And I'm at the bottom right now. I'm at six pounds, so six pounds pressure, and this is typically ideal, somewhere in the six pound pressure range. So let's let's recap. What you're going to see in in the majority of machines that's Mr. Tig approved is this foot pedal. Now, what we do is we go to SSC and say, look, we got a machine. We need for you to match the ohm resistance to that machine and put this connector on, and they do. So just know that this one right here, it doesn't qualify. This one right here, we're using it because it's the only one available for certain machines. And, and that will change. Even though it works pretty good, 20 pounds pressure is just way too much for the sensitivity of TIG welding. Uh, this one right here, it's, uh, it's barely acceptable. Uh, but it is. You know, it'll get the job done. If you're doing professional work, you probably don't want to stick with this. This right here is going to be available literally for every machine. So just know that there's a difference in cost as well. Um, and I'll just give you a rough idea. Again, this one doesn't qualify. This one right here, manufacturing-wise, I don't know, it's probably a, a $40 foot pedal. This one right here is about a hundred and let's say 119 roughly, maybe even up to $129. And this one will be up to about 199, depending on what machine, what model, uh, you know, what connector you have to put with it. So just know that there's a, a broad range. Um, again, this is my choice. So thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG.